Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. What is going on? I feel like a lot of you are going with Anne or you've already done a lot of this introspection um, and trying to see the truth about something. I also feel like people are going with Anne trying to figure things out about you. Um, the energy is, is a little bit conflicting, though, because of the fact that you some of you have a lot of eyes on you right now. Um, you have some people that are going with Anne and they're really discovering the truth about you. Um, I will say that when it comes to a lot of manipulation and and the the various scarcity tactics that are being used people are going to make their final push at this time to try and get certain things done for a lot of you this is because um people are having a difficult time with understanding where a lot of this self-love growth and healing is coming from i think that it is incredibly important for you right now to of, of course continue Resting, retreating, rejuvenating yourself. Um, it's almost like a slingshot. A lot of you, you're being pulled back from a lot of different people, places, things, and situations. Um, because you're going to be propelled forward in this new cycle, this new chapter. Yeah, four of swords, but yet you still have people who are trying to hold on to you. All right. Make sure that you're not holding on to any outdated or self-limiting beliefs, any of the lies or the trickery or confusion, or even just things, you know. That you need to work on within yourself because it's like you are moving on to peaceful, calmer waters at this time. So continue to have tunnel vision and stay focused on moving forward. Let's see what's going on. Oh, the very first card out is the magician. And look at this, the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Scorpio. Scorpio season is here. Happy birthday to the Scorpios. Yeah, there's a door closing and a new door that's opening. So, um, like I said, there's a lot of death, destruction, endings, new beginnings. The energy to me feels pretty calm and peaceful. Um, that could change for some people depending on where you are in your timeline and your situation. But I think that right now is a time to really lean into this energy here. A lot of you are definitely moving forward and you will be victorious. This Queen of Pentacles, for, for, to me, for some reason, feels like it could be like an, an yeah, I was just gonna, like an ancestor, a past on loved one, a spirit guide of yours that's ensuring that there are certain chapters and doors that are going to close so that you are able to move forward. Behind that is the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, wow, yeah, and the world. <clears throat> There's something from your past, maybe even a past life, I feel, that is being taken care of there's some type of karmic wow yeah the world and the will wow you have some kind of news or communication coming in quickly some of you right now like i said there's a door that's closing and a new door is going to be opening okay you could have someone from your past that is trying to come in and make amends with you some of you could be healing family issues as well there could be a friend or a family member even from your past that is trying to come in for some of you there are people from your past that um actually have useful information they they have more wisdom they have more knowledge they've grown you'll have to be um discerning as to whether or not you want to deal with these individuals some of you have people who are coming back who of course they're trying to manipulate you they're using spell work magic and other things to try to get onto this new path with you the world is here so this is stating that of course you've accomplished something this is graduation it's like you've learned some type of lesson here there's a brand new world that's opening up to you with the Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant being here, I definitely feel like someone wants to come in. And you have to be careful of this because I feel like someone wants to gain some of the knowledge and the wisdom that you have. Be careful of people who want to know what you know and, and they don't want to actually do the work to do the learning. I'm definitely feeling this energy of someone being like a moocher who... um it's like you, you've you inherited a lot of different things, perhaps from your, your bloodline. Some of you during this spiritual awakening or upgrade or whatever it is that you've been going through, you probably have connected with spirit guides, angels, and ancestors that are assisting you on this journey. You're, you're really tapped in right now, so you are getting your messages clearly. And you could have the type of people that are coming around you now. They could be, I feel like they're coming just from everywhere. Friends, family, you know, people you went to school with, you know, past lovers and they're seeing this growth even if some of you are being hard on yourself maybe you don't see it just yet but it's like you you have people who are seeing this growth 
and you and they want to know what you're doing they want to know you know well how is your spiritual hygiene what is your daily routine they want to know everything about you and this is that copycat energy that they're trying to figure out how can they be like you because they want to be able to experience the blessings and the abundance that you're experiencing at this time in your life and again for some of you it is time for you to heal certain issues with people from the past forgiving a person does not mean that you have to move forward and deal with that person that's not what that means um forgiveness is there for you to set yourself free but I, again, for some of you, there's a lot of different things because of this ending and this new beginning. You're going to have people from the past as well as new people coming in who want to be a part of this new journey. Please do not get caught up in thinking that every single person from your past is bad and that there is no way that person can be in your life. Moving forward, what you need to work on, of course, is just having boundaries and using your discernment. Because just the way that we've changed, there are people from our past who have also changed as well. Again, that doesn't mean that you have to be in close contact with them. You have to be best friends or go into a relationship. But yeah, stay focused on yourself, not of pentacles. There is definitely, I feel, an elder here who is assisting you at this time. A lot of you, like I've been saying, a lot of your overall um, karmic justice is going to be coming in the form of you having a lot of stability, security, self-love, you being able to enjoy the fruits of your own labor after quite a, a long time because many of you, it's like you've had people who have been energetically stealing from you. So they've been taking things from you before you could even receive them. Or anything that you get, you have these um, like energetic vampires or these parasitic like people that come in and they just want to take from you. Be beware of that. This energy is, is going to cut a lot of that out. Yeah, it's like you're reaping what you've sown. Seven of Pentacles here. I hate to say this, but also you guys continue to to pray fast keep up with your spiritual hygiene because with the seven of, of pentacles falling here on top of this magician and the world card the way that it did some of you um there's been a lot of confusion spells mind control domination spells and things like that that have been happening i've noticed and this is to keep you stuck people are going so far as to try to figure out what your trauma is and of course you know at some point, you've probably been vulnerable with the person. You've told them things about yourself. They're trying to use those things against you to keep you in some type of cycle where you are stuck in your head. And this will lead to some type of self-sabotage. These are all tactics of the enemy. But I, I feel like there is a particular person or a group of people for some of you. They constantly sit around and they try to wait to see if their magic is working. And they don't understand how you have this freedom. How is it that this for you is over it's because this cycle for many of you is already closed out but you have people who are still working against you it's like they still haven't received the message or the memo that this is over so at this point all they're doing is creating a lot more karma for themselves but um yeah look at that the high priest i'm telling you someone some of you there, there's someone here make sure you're protecting yourself you are protected but make sure that, you know, as these people come in, and I feel like sometimes we focus so much on the past people coming in. Sometimes you have new people coming in your life that have the same agenda as past people. You know, it's the same energy, the same spirit, just a different face. There is definitely some type of dark magician somewhere. High priest, high priestess that is waiting around on something to end for you. You guys be careful because I, I definitely get the, the vibe where someone is watching you closely to see if whatever blockages they're they're trying to create for your life if they're working <clears throat> excuse me yeah look at that two of wands because someone knows that as soon as you make the decision to step out of your mind and into this brand new beginning you're going straight to all of these celebratory moments the four of wands so this could have something to do with family with friends a relationship a large purchase um, a new job or promotion, but four of wands, I mean, it's really good energy. And, and it's like, all you have to do right now is to just make the choice. The two of wands, this is choices, decisions, choosing to move forward, despite the fact that, you know, yeah, there could be things that are being done to you, but you have full power and dominion and authority over anyone dark trying to do something to you. This is, you have to have control of your own mind, because if you don't, this type of devilish demonic like dark energy that's trying to creep in it will get a hold of you yeah because here it's like four of wands with the five of cups someone i'm telling you they want you to feel 
this regret, this despair, as if you've missed out on some type of opportunity. But the King of Wands is here. It's like there's an energy that has targeted you. It's coming towards you. Some of you, this King of Wands energy is someone that's coming towards you because they are meant. It's it's part of your destiny. It's part of your future. It's wish fulfillment and happiness and satisfaction for you. But at the same time, you also have people or a particular person who is coming towards you. They, they're trying to locate you because they want to scheme, scam, and try and sabotage something in your life. So again, you just have to be very discerning because a lot of this energy is very conflicting because you have endings and new beginnings and they're pretty much happening simultaneously, which can make it very confusing. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Swords, it still came out. But it's like no matter what, depending on where you are in your journey, you should be moving on to peaceful, calm waters. A lot of this is in your mind. Be sure you, that you're not so focused on someone trying to hurt you, ruin you, sabotage you as well, that it's affecting your, your actual ability to move forward. A lot of what is going on right now, you guys, is a play on the mind. That's what I'm seeing here. Even the cards out here, there's no action. There's no action out here besides this chariot card. The two of wands is making a decision, but it's still not actually taking action. For a lot of you, what you need to understand at this time is that although things around you can seem so crazy and chaotic, there's really not a lot of action that's being taken. A lot of this is it's mind control. It's spell work on the mind. People are trying to get you to be extremely fearful of, of the what they may possibly do. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to minimize the fact that for some people, some people are trying to completely destroy everything in your life. Trust me, I've, I've go through it as well. But again, it's, it's having that power and control over the mind to not be able to manifest the things that people are trying to, to plant in your mind, which is that you won't move forward or you won't be able to get out of this cycle. For many, the cycle is already over. It has been over. Yeah, look at that. The full card. I'm telling you, the cycle is over. Like, you're already free from whatever this situation is. Don't allow some type of lack mentality or feeling left out in the cold, a, a fear of abandonment, a fear of success, rejection, or whatever it is that people are trying to project onto you to cause you to be imbalanced. This is the whole goal. If you're imbalanced and you're not grounded, then people have power and control over you. The star card is here. As above, so below. These The things that these people have done, yeah, it's blowing up. It's like your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, they know exactly what is going on. These plans have already backfired. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Because someone here, they I, I'm telling you, people made that final push deciding that they were going to still wish death on you or, or various things in your life. It's not working. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant is someone who has already had test trials and tribulations. It's like these people have tested you, they've tried you, and they're constantly finding out that you're the truth. Queen of Cups, you can rest in your good energy here. I know at this time, like, naturally you will be paranoid here, but remember that you're the wounded warrior. You may be wounded, but you're still a warrior. You still get to push on. The Nine of Wands is here, meaning that something here is very close to coming to an end. You have a very um, passionate new beginning coming in. This Nine of Cups could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be... It could be anyone, okay? But there is something here and someone is disappointed because they were not able to stop or block whatever this is that is meant to come in for you. And this was definitely, a, a, it was a group effort. There are a lot of people who have been coming together to try and stop you. For some of you, this has everything, everything to do with like a lover or some type of partnership. You know, a lot of people who are going into these divine unions, you most likely you'll live, work, travel, and do everything with your person. This Nine of Cups has a lot of people up in arms. For some of you, this is a person from the past coming back or a past life connection that is being rebirthed. And it's going to be equal give and take. There's two sixes here. This is something that is balanced. It's, it's, it's a reciprocal type of love. Like I said, whether it's love or partnership or both, and it's going to bring about the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. Six, six, and nine. Yeah, five of cups. I just don't know what it is about this situation where, um, because here's the five of cups, the knight of wands, the ten of swords, the tempers, and the devil. It's There is a person in the background, and for a lot of people, this is a masculine, okay? 
someone in the background when i tell you this person they keep such an eye on you they watch every single thing that you do this person wants to ruin and sabotage anything that you have that could bring in any bit of peace balance harmony they don't want you to temper yourself and i feel like every single time you start to balance yourself the devil comes in but to me this seems like it's something that's honestly being conjured up by someone It's like someone has pinpointed your weakness in something and they're using that to just constantly stab at you with this one thing here. Someone knows that there is something that you regret or that will bring you some type of despair or disharmony in your life. You need to be very careful of that in your, your, new, your new chapter, this next cycle. Be very careful in who you choose to be vulnerable with and what you share. That's another thing to consider right now. A lot of you, as you become stronger and you're victorious, you want to start speaking as a person who is victorious and not the victim, okay? Because it's very easy when you go out and you share your story to get so caught up in sharing what has happened to you as opposed to how you've overcome the situation. I'll be honest, I even see that oftentimes with influencers, they constantly talk about what they've gone through. And I understand to share the story to um, raise awareness. However, it puts you in a victim consciousness where people then know exactly how to... Um, People then they know exactly how to pretty much attack you mentally, spiritually, energetically, and emotionally because they know what your pain point is. They know what brings you that darkness in your life. So you have to be very careful. This could be friends, family, a coworker, anyone. You know, we've, we're, we've all been guilty of talking too much or pillow talking. But this is someone here who knows a lot about you from what you told them as well as from what they've studied someone has studied you very very closely they watch you they monitor you they may even be um spiritually spying on you this person wants to sabotage everything that comes in your life and they know how to do that now on the flip side because i do want to talk more about just the self and your personal journey you also have to continuously do the work to find out what in you is triggered by this because if you can recognize what it is that a person is using against you then you can start to do the work so that they can't latch on to whatever that lower vibrational energy or karmic energy is that is within you it's within us all you need to get a handle on that because someone has definitely found exactly what they feel will leave you devastated and it's 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 they they're using it for power over you. Ten of Cups though with the Knight of Swords. Some of you could have some type of message coming in about someone in the family. Yeah, something here has been hidden. The moon is here. King of Cups here. This Scorpio moon is is definitely a time for you to step into this very assertive like energy if you haven't already. You're gonna have to have authority here about something because the Knight of Wands, yeah, something that you need to do. This could be related to, like I said, friends, family, business, just your overall structure in your life. You do not need to delay. There's a new beginning here. Okay, you may have new ideas coming in all of a sudden, and it's going to bring a lot of overall stability and security for you. Do not wait on whatever this is. You need to go with and and be grounded at this time yeah because for a lot of you you do you have partnerships coming in whether it be romantic or business or both and there's a, a clearing and a cleansing that needs to happen right now so this emotional release that you need to do this letting go of the past forgiving yourself forgiving other people this is what should really be the focus i mean we have a few days left in november here in Scorpio season, I, I would suggest that a lot of people really assess and evaluate your situations. Go in, dot all of your I's, cross all of your T's, figure out exactly what it is that you're trying to manifest, write a letter, journal, do whatever you need to do, but really, really work on mastering self-love at this time because that's what's really going to get you out of whatever this cycle is and then ensure that you don't repeat it. Because you have karmic energies that are being eclipsed out because they're no longer matching your, your, your frequency and they're not supposed to go into your new timeline, but they're fighting very hard to do that. But it's not just you worrying about the outside, what's externally happening, but what's happening internally as well as at a subconscious level. There's always something within us that allows these demonic entities, forces, 
principalities or whatever to constantly latch onto us. Yeah, being a light worker, a light being, you attract darkness because you're a healer, but you still have to recognize that you have to continuously work on your own healing journey. I just feel like self-awareness is, is so important because there's something that's, that's keeping you held back. Yeah, justice is coming though. When it comes to the people who are collaborating, some of you, there really are like groups, cults, coven, secret societies. They're doing a lot of work behind the scenes. And you would think at this point, considering the fact that nothing is working and you're still in this energy of the sun having just overall internal peace and joy, that people will leave you alone. But instead, they look at this as if we if they could sacrifice you in some way, it will allow them to have more expansion in their lives. So these people here are wanting to sacrifice you in some type of way and work against you to have their own, of course, personal gain. They want victory and success by causing delays in your life. But the thing about it is if you really look at the bigger picture here, people who have been stealing your energy because they're connecting themselves to, like I said, those, those holes in the soul that everyone has. It's like the narcissist empath paradigm or, you know, they're attaching themselves to any void that you may have. And this is creating vices in your life. So this is why sometimes you may be a little bit lazy or, you know, you're more pessimistic than you normally are. All of those things will keep you from being a vibrational match for your greatest and highest good. So what these people are doing is they want you to stay in that energy because literally they're using your energy for themselves. A lot of people have friends and family members and lovers who have been using their energy for their own personal gain. And because of where you were in your spiritual journey, you just not understanding you being the giver, overcompensating or whatever the case may be. You had no idea that this was happening. Now that you're stepping into this awakening and you're seeing that a lot of people that you've trusted did not have your best interest at heart, you need to recognize that it's time for you to stop collaborating with certain people. It's time for you to stop telling your business to certain people. It's time for you to stop hanging out certain places and doing certain things. It's also time for you to just change the way that you treat yourself and how you see yourself. Because I know me, one thing that I've been learning a lot about is, of course, transmutation and how your subconscious mind, which is going to create your own reality how that will block you. It doesn't matter what you go out in the world and do every day. If your mind is telling you that you don't deserve certain things and you can't have certain things, that is exactly what's going to manifest. It doesn't matter what you do. So people, of course, that is the reason why they are playing on your mind. A high priestess or a dark priest or dark empath or magician, wizard, warlock, which they know how to control you by acting on your mind. They're sitting at home. They make you think that you have to be paranoid and crazy. They're sitting at home playing with your mind. Once you really understand that, then you, you will move differently. But you also have to understand that you can't go out and give out so much information about yourself from an, an emotional state of mind that allows people to attack you because it is true like some of these people they're going so far as to spiritually spy on you they're hacking your devices they're studying you a lot like i've seen that i'm seeing it here some people are really studying you and this is the reason why you most likely this queen of pentacles you have this elder this past on loved one someone that is protecting you like at all times to ensure, like, I don't think that a lot of you know the severity of the situation that's actually happening around you or behind the scenes. Judgment is here, though. This is your wake-up call. You're going through an awakening. This is your wake-up call. And a part of it is you're learning in order to have wish fulfillment that you have to be in this Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is being analytical, logical, practical about things, but also understanding the importance of boundaries. This is a time where no is going to be your favorite word and your best friend. Some of you are going to have to tell friends and family members, no, you're walking away from anything that may have you upset, disgruntled, sad, or whatever. And some people, they're not going to like the fact that you have boundaries. But in order for you to go into the place and space in your life where you're happy or even into a partnership or a union, whether it be romantic business or whatever you're gonna have to be assertive and ambitious and have the strength and the courage to just be strong enough to say i'm not going to allow myself to stay stuck and stagnant 
constantly losing sleep with this fear, this anxiety that is being projected onto you. Because, yes, the truth is, is that you are the Empress. Okay. There could be a strong Libra energy present here. Which, of course, also is Justice. King of Swords here. And the Empress. And then the Three of Swords. A lot of you, you definitely have divine protectors who are trying to assist you in overcoming this heartbreak. But you have to take that leap of faith to go on a brand new journey. Even if that means you starting over completely. By starting over having a fresh, clean slate. Something here is going to be accelerated for you, for you to move forward. So don't be afraid because you are about to start seeing the truth about some of these people in your life. Especially this masculine. There's a... um. There's an earth sign energy, Taurus Capricorn, that came up very, very strongly yesterday. And it's coming up again now. You could be dealing with the type of person. This could be a family member, a lover, someone who has um, a lot of outdated um, beliefs. Someone that's very self-righteous, very judgmental. Like they want you to do things. They, they want, Someone wants you to conform. Okay. Someone wants you to conform and come over to their side to do whatever they they're doing, worship, whatever they worship. Someone does not like the fact that you have a free spirit and free will. They don't like that. So I feel like this person is, is constantly doing various things or even working with people, hiring people. This could be someone who has some type of group cult, coven or whatever. They're doing a lot to... And I'm hearing specifically with this Ten of Cups being here. Yeah, this is someone here who could come from like a, a family of witches, wizards, warlocks, a, a whole voodoo-like family. They feel like in order to have success and to, to be able to celebrate, that they should be able to come together to do spell work magic or use all of these different tactics, of course, to receive what they feel is justice in their lives. This is someone or a group of people who... I don't know, like it's like their their idea of, of karma is different or this is a type of person who feels like they can do bad things and they can just easily balance their karma out. It's a very warped way of thinking. And I feel like whatever it is, to be honest with you, it has worked for this person or this group, but it's not working with you. It's not working for a lot of people though, because energetically, like that's just not tolerated. Not not with the the timelines that we're in now. This energetic shift, it, it doesn't matter about the magic that's being done. The universal collective energy is shifting. <laughs> and I don't think a lot of people were able to account for that when they were doing all of their spell work and magic. I talked about this last year. Um, I have an entire playlist on these things. You can look at my readings from last year and everything that is happening now. I was telling you about it last year. People, they had no idea what was coming when they were doing all of this spell work and they didn't realize that we were going to have Mercury retrograde during Libra season. Saturn was going to be in retrograde during the age of Aquarius, moving right into Scorpio season. And we've had all of this eclipse energy this year. There was things that happened back in the spring when we had um, the eclipse season around, like, I think March or April. Now, whatever wasn't cleaned up during that time, the last six months that Saturn has been in retrograde and Saturn, I think, went direct either yesterday or, or it's going direct today. This was your opportunity in the last six months with the retrogrades and everything to clean up things that you don't want to go into the next cycle with you. We're starting like another seven to ten year cycle. So anything or anyone that you don't want to go into this cycle with you, you need to get rid of it now and make your peace with it. Otherwise, you're going to repeat this cycle. And a lot of people have decided to repeat the cycle. But because you have a cord to that person, that thing, that place, situation, they're trying to keep you on that timeline with them. So it's almost like some people, they're being cursed and doomed to hell. And, and you know, you get to stay on earth and, and travel back and forth to, to heaven, just using it as an example. They want you to stay in hell with them because they can't leave. And before, when you were on earth and they were in hell, they could use a buddy pass to, to come and see the light of day. The buddy pass isn't working anymore. Everyone has to go to their their respective realm, timeline, dimension, plane, or whatever. Some of these people are doing things in their subconscious mind where they're astral traveling, projecting, and doing everything. And they're literally trying to tether themselves to you and connect to your energy because they want you isolated somewhere with them because they can't go where you're going. 
So you, you really have to see, you know, everything that is happening behind the scenes because during this time of clearing all of this karma, a lot of this is past life as well. A lot of you have these past life soulmates. A lot of you are recognizing that your friends and your family are people that you encounter in past lives. And they've always had, their, it was their assignment to somehow try to ruin you and to destroy your life. This could be your mom, your, your brother, sister, cousin, it doesn't matter. We're, these are just bodies, remember? <laughs> We're spiritual beings having a human experience. And you will notice how the shape shifting is happening. Like I said, now it's very difficult to tell what's going on. And that's why it's so important to go within because you have endings and new beginnings happening simultaneously. So for some people, everyone is like the past, the past, the past. Well, there could be someone from your past that has changed their life that is good for you. But you're not recognizing that the person that you just met that you feel like you're head over heels with is actually someone from a past life that has a, a, a whole assignment and agenda to destroy you. So you can't allow yourself to be too focused on on anything based off of just teaching along at this time. I don't know who needed to hear that, but because I know even when you watch tarot, it's easy for us to say, well, don't go back to the past. Well, no, don't go back to your past as far as your mindset. There are people from your past who may come in and they have knowledge to share or opportunities with you. You know, whether it's a new person or an old person is not so much as important as you being able to discern their energy. I don't know. I, I feel like there's something that someone really <laughs> needs to hear because the truth is, is that it is easy. I do it myself. I'm just like, oh my goodness, the past, the past, the past. And you get so caught up on thinking about the past that you completely forget the fact that you could have somebody that's in your life right now. And you think that because you've grown and you've healed and you learned some things that everyone now has your best interest at heart. No, new levels, new devils. It's about you being able to discern energy. It doesn't matter Past, present, old, young, man, woman, child, it doesn't matter. Can you discern the energy that is around you? So, let's see. Ten of Wands, yeah. I was asking, what is, what can we expect? Ten of Wands. Burdens are being dropped, Okay. It's time to take responsibility, though, for the burdens that we've created and to drop the burdens that you know just no longer serve you. OK, you could be feeling burnt out. But again, it's like you need to make that final push because your enemies are definitely making their final push because they know that time is up. So you have to keep going. You have to stay very focused right now. The page of wands is here with the knight of swords. OK, three of pentacles. I would say right now, be mindful. Um of who you team up with and who you collaborate with. But I feel like you need to really be working with your higher self and with source at this time. Okay. Because like I said, you most likely at this time, because of the fact that people are attacking you, they're in spiritual warfare is the way that it is. You have a lot of different angels and guides and ancestors who are trying to connect with you and work with you. And that should be your focus right now as how exactly can you heal your, your family? How can you heal you know, things that have held you and your bloodline, your lineage back. Because that's what's actually impacting your mind at this time and allowing the enemy to be able to attack you. There's things that are going to come about that you're going to have to take just sudden swift action towards. And you have to be in this warrior like mindset where you are definitely just being take charge. I feel like there's a lot of, um, new beginnings that are coming and you're being asked right now to be passionate about these things okay you're going to discover a lot about yourself and people again it's endings and new beginnings they're all happening at one time queen of wands is here in the world there's a lot of karmic energies that are being eliminated right now okay a lot of people have been buying into you know just things that are very superficial and when, queen of wands i'm not saying that that is what every queen of wands is, but this is just what's coming to me intuitively. Some of you are going to start um, being more strong, like I said, more assertive, more creative, more ambitious, um, really believing in yourself more. This is what you need to do because we're coming into a time where people who are superficial and on the surface, surface level, 
their time is up. Like th that timeline is it's complete. It's over and it's done. Okay. A lot of people, of course, like in um, various, you know, spiritual connections, there's been a third party karmic like energies. People are starting to want something that is real, that is rare again. And that's good. You know, we're, we're shifting into that higher level of consciousness. I, I just saw the seven of cups. So being obsessed with options and things and illusions and things that are superficial, it's time to come out of that. It's time for you to really um, figure out what is truly meaningful to you in your life. The magician is here with the empress and the seven of cups. This literally is saying that it is time for you to manifest the life of your dreams. Okay. This is your golden opportunity. The seven of cups. You have a lot of different offers and opportunities that are coming to you that you are aligned with. Okay. If you know that you are not currently aligned for what you want, that should be your focus. Because there are a lot of different options that are coming and a lot of people, something else that I've noticed, um, from downloads that I've gotten, like I said, I haven't been reading tarot for the last few months. Um, these are just intuitive nudges and downloads that I get is that a lot of people right now, you have a double, triple mission during this lifetime. And as these old contracts are, um, being pretty much burned and you're, you're getting these new contracts. Some of you, you do, it's like, you may have an option right now where it's not just, you know, past or past person, new person, but it's what exactly do you want to focus on in this lifetime? Do you want to focus on being um, a queen of wands in this, this particular lifetime where you are very popular? Maybe you're very vibrant, um, you know, super ambitious, or do you want to be perhaps the empress or, you know, someone who is very fertile, very abundant, but extremely feminine. Maybe, you know, some of you want to be business people where others want to be family and you will have different like options. There will be more than one contract that will be presented to you and it's your choice as to which one you want to take, which is why, again, I'm saying don't get so caught up on, I can't do this because that person is from the past. It's the energy. Which one are you aligned with right now? And that's the reason why you have to go within and figure out, well, what exactly am I here to do in this lifetime? How am I supposed to be serving this lifetime? Because you're being given now, um, you have to make that decision in order for God pretty much to give you the, the tools and the resources that you need for whatever mission it is. A lot of people are in a very sweet spot because you get to make a choice. Do you want to build an empire and make a bunch of money? Or, you know, do you want to be a wife, a mom, a husband, a dad? What do you want to do? Or do you want to have it all? Because it, it seems to me like there there's a lot of um, people who are like waking up a lot of past life energy. And you, you get to come back <laughs> as like this really amazing person from like this ancient time and just be new and improved if that's what you choose to do but what you can do right now is make the choice to be indecisive and stagnant find out what really inspires you how do you want to be an inspiration to other people and then align yourself with that yeah here's the sun okay a lot of you definitely like i said you are manifesting the life of your dreams okay you have here the empress the sun the magician so for some of you, you know, if being um, a parent is something that you really want, it's here. You may be undecided right now. Maybe you don't know if you want to have children or if you want to blend your family with someone else. And, and children is not in the cards for everyone and everyone doesn't want to be a parent or may not want to have more children. But when it comes to the Empress energy here, this is it's a baby. It's the birth of something, whether it's a business, a child any type of new opportunity it's growth here it's fertility and abundance sometimes maybe it's just marriage okay maybe you're the first person in your in your family to have a healthy happy harmonious marriage this is about you breaking some type of curse or hex or jinx of carrying just burdens here being chosen to actually manifest love hope satisfaction being happy this is like going to be your greatest achievement yeah nine of pentacles here some of you it's a very very beautiful yeah and then here's the fool and you're freeing yourself from what the five of pentacles there's no more financial hardship there's no more um lack mindset there's the struggle is over 
like the negativity you can let that go now because all you have to do is step be willing to step into the unknown embracing these new beginnings but the nine of pentacles here with the empress and the magician this is saying that you get to manifest an extremely um abundant life for yourself when it comes to financial abundance as well as having overall just love beauty and satisfaction as well this is you being free very self-sufficient very comfortable and this, this is a reward for all of your efforts. This is what Spirit is giving you because you've decided to go within and to drop a lot of the burdens. You've also helped to drop the help other people drop burdens, even in your family. You'll be surprised how teaching someone something about themselves or sharing your journey, how it may inspire other people. Look at this. This is beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. So again, some of you, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles, I'm not picking up another oh. and the look at this ten of pentacles nine of cups the tower the high priestess the hermit the five of wands the four of cups and the ace of cups nine of wands six of swords seven of swords five of pentacles six of wands i'm i just this right here just tells the whole story so yeah six of wands so let's just get into this 10 of um i'm sorry 10 which is the will of fortune something here is over for some of you the lovers sometimes can speak of a choice and love you have one like i said a contract here with one person it's over it's null and void it is no more it doesn't matter what they do they can't come back into your life they may still be trying to energetically connect with you it's over it's done you have the ultimate wish fulfillment coming in because spirit has already stated that because you have gone within you searched your soul you've been in solitude you've withdrawn yourself from society from groups and everything your reward now is everyone is finding out with the tower and the high priestess heavy scorpio energy that you've had a real death a rebirth and a transformation your intuition is at an all-time high or it will be you're you're being given the keys to the to the to the spiritual safe it's like you have this sacred wisdom and knowledge you know the truth you know the secrets you know what is hidden behind the veil and this is causing a major upheaval it's causing a major upheaval with your friends, your family, and your lovers because a lot of people, for what you've had to actually go through to get to where you are, nobody actually thought you would get there. I'll be completely honest with you. Even your ancestors did not know that you would get this far. Some of you have ancestors who are not of the light. They don't like you because you have actually gone so far as to be able to actually get all of this wealth. A lot of people don't talk to you about that, but some people, you do have jealous, envious ancestors okay, who are not happy with the fact that it was you who was actually chosen to do this work. But everyone is chosen to do the work. You just made it your personal mission and your choice to do it. Everyone is chosen. Everybody has an opportunity to break the mold and, and be their best selves, but not everyone is able to accomplish that. For a lot of you that I'm talking to, this is what you're accomplishing, or this is a good reason to see this type of energy, why you should be pushing even harder. Because it's people here who have wanted you in lack. The the schemes, the backstabbing, the betrayals, you know, people in love relationships, lying, cheating, all of that, it's over. This has been a struggle that has forced you really to go within into hermit mode to actually become the high priestess. Because when you went within, you had all of these revelations and epiphanies about what was actually going on on a more spiritual level. Okay. You had to really go to battle because I feel like you had to assert yourself in situations where there's been missed opportunities, where people have been complete competing with you or causing all of this chaos and conflict in your life. But now it's like you get to move on to peaceful, calm waters, the Knight of wands. Either you are passionately going towards a brand new beginning, but some of you, you have a brand new offer coming in from someone. They're going to be extremely passionate, very driven to have wish fulfillment with you. Yeah, look. Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Six of Wands, this is saying, yes, you won this victory. It's over. You get to have your rewards, your success, recognition. This is being able to have progress. Ten of Swords is when you've been backstabbed, betrayed, okay, <laughs> left for dead nearly. All of your bad luck, all of those things is what you can actually get rid of at this time. 
and embrace the new, which is the four of wands. Like I said, the four of wands for some, it could be anything that you're celebrating. New house, new job, new car, just having more stability, being happy, just being at peace. For a lot of you, there is a significant um, relationship that is coming into your life. A lot of you, you've been battling for a long time because it was time for you to step into this like high priestess type of energy. But you're also, of course, going to be granted a, a union with someone who is highly spiritual just like yourself so the two of swords the whole goal the plan of the enemy was to keep you in this stalemate indecisive like energy so that you would stay stuck at the crossroads here and they did that of course by trying to keep you a prisoner in your own mind but look at here why oh my goodness are y'all ready for this <laughs> six of cups temperance and the two of cups there's been a lot of juggling and instability and some type of connection. This could be with someone from your past. It could be with someone that you're dealing with now or someone that you haven't met. But the temperance angel is here. It's saying you were always chosen to be this earth angel and you are about to unite if you haven't already with another person. The six of cups here to me definitely um, gives me, like I said, someone from the past. But for some of you, it's a, a person from a past like. When you meet this person, if you haven't met them already, you're just going to feel like you know this person. Two, two, two. Look at that. Two, two, two. Partnerships, growth, choices, decisions. And here's the number six, balance. There's balance being restored in your partnerships, in your friendships, in your relationships with friends, family, and lovers. OK, that's why I'm saying if you dealt with the person and there were issues in that situation, just let it go. Because something with that person, at least energetically, the things it can be balanced out. It has nothing to do with you being with that person. But energetically, things just need to be balanced out. Because here is the offer, the Ace of Pentacles offer. Wow. And it's coming with death. It's coming with this ending with this transformation and what do you have to end the nine of wands being stuck scared full of anxiety weak worried tired wounded you have to let that go in order to be able to have an, a brand new passion beginning so scorpio season here is death rebirth transformation and what do you have the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands you get to passionately go towards like manifesting real prosperity real stability a new business this is you creating your legacy four of pentacles whatever you've been holding on to let it go because it's blocking you from your ten of cups and your ten of cups is your justice your ten of cups whether it's a a business relationship mending something in your family a marriage children security stability that's what you want here it's time for you to rest and retreat like i said four of swords take a break Meditate. Don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed because you are receiving good news about an opportunity to expand. The Page of Pentacles, some people, they're like, oh, well, that's a small offer. But the, the Page of Pentacles, that's that seed that you've already planted, that you've been working on. And all you had to do was master yourself and go through this transformation. That Page of Pentacles, you're about to receive good news that that Page of Pentacles is now that Ace of Pentacles that's being hand delivered to you. So now is the time for you to make the decision with the judgment and five of swords here. Turn your back on people who want to make you feel defeated. Turn your back on disagreements and conflict and the betrayal and what you lost. Just don't worry about it because here you have two of wands and the chariot. All you have to do now is choose to just move forward. That's it. Just move forward. And it's interesting, here is the King of Cups at the, top, at the top of the deck and at the bottom is the Queen of Cups. There's a very beautiful connection here coming between two people. And look at that, the Page of Cups. But you had to make sacrifices in order to have this type of wish fulfillment to start. There were sacrifices that had to be made in order for you to go towards your destiny. And now that you're making the decision to do that, you get to go towards a partnership where things are going to move rapidly some of you if you haven't met your person just yet when you meet that person things are going to take off really fast because you've been building and creating your life and your legacy in the spirit realm for a long time you just haven't been connected to someone physically 
but we're moving into a time now where your spiritual body is what needs to be the strongest right now for you to actually be able to enjoy this human experience and and actually have you know what what is rightfully yours Oh, uh, let's see. I'm just going to pull a few of these and then we'll be done. This is a good message, though. Duality. Look at that. Duality. Yeah. See, it's it's mending. It's understanding that, yeah, you have your shadow self and your, and your light side, your feminine and masculine, and you need to be able to balance the two. That's something that's also going to be required for those of you who want to be business owners. You want to be parents. You want to be um, in marriages. You want to be in healthy friendships. You have to have a good, healthy balance of your light and your dark side, your feminine and your masculine. Forgiveness is here in the center and retreat. Like I said, forgive, forgive, forgive. And at the bottom of this deck, it literally says it's all good. It's all good. And then here is joy and truth. You're going to be receiving joy because the truth is really going to set you free. Everything is all good, no matter how hurtful some of these truths may be, because I'm not saying that it's, you know, like always, it's not going to be all rainbows, lollipops, Marvin Gaye, and lingerie. But once it, it's better for you to be destroyed by the truth than to constantly be comforted with a lie. You have to have the truth to actually be in alignment. And let me just say this because I've always said this on my channel. Sometimes you guys, as people come into your life, you have to learn how to take a ride on the back of the devil. As I say, to actually get to where you need to go and learn what you need to learn in order to slay the devil. But again, it's the discernment and your boundaries. No one said that you had to go and be the devil. But when you are in the face of the devil, which many oftentimes we are several times a day, you're talking to the devil. It's the friend, the family member or whomever um, is it, it, being used by the devil. You have to learn how to decipher and discern from that point. What do you need to do with that person? Learn how to have self-control, practice and moderation and compartmentalize. You can't eliminate every person from your life, but if they're doing something that you don't like, you can have boundaries and you can forgive them for what they've done and forgive yourself for allowing them to have done that to you. And you just move forward with grace. These cards, look, so vibrational match came out. It says you are sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. Reach for the stars is here and expansion. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck here um, is lightheartedness. It is time for you to let your inner child out to play. Again, inner child, that's your subconscious mind. Telling yourself that you can't have certain things. Telling yourself that nobody is, is any good in this world. Telling yourself that, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't forgive people because of whatever the situation is may be based on your your past experiences you're, you're going to have to let go of that because it's blocking your growth and expansion you have reached for the stars here you have a lot of potential it's time for you to tap into that that unused unlimited potential that you have so that you can actually move up into a higher level of consciousness and awareness that's going to take you to the next level in life Okay, and then you have Kendra Souls, Home Sweet Home. Wow, this is beautiful. Some of you are definitely about to be meeting more people that are part of your soul family, your soul tribe, as well as for some of you, your actual divine counterpart. Now is a good time for you to, I mean, with Home Sweet Home, deal with things in your home and in your family. And again, forgiving a person does not necessarily mean, because you guys, I'm going through this myself. It doesn't mean that you have to have this close-knit relationship, but sometimes it it's good for you to go in and and have a conversation or to go within yourself if you can't talk to a person to better understand why they did what they did and forgive them because oftentimes you will realize that it's true it's so cliche but it's true hurt people hurt people sometimes the things that a person has done to you whether it was a friend a family member or a lover it really wasn't personal and when you really take it a step further and you think about 
past lives and, and karma, the things that a person as a human being does to you, they don't even realize sometimes that their spirit is attacking you. Because they, you guys, you may have some type of past life karma. You know, um, we don't want to make excuses for people mistreating us at all. However, I'm just saying it's easier for you to just confront the situation, see it for what it is, and move forward as opposed to having that anger, that bitterness, that or, or resentment that's keeping you blocked from what you are actually aligned with. Um... I think that, y'all, yeah, I told you guys, you know, whenever I come back, <laughs> I miss my card, so I just start pulling everything out. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know which cards to use. Let's see. The angel answers. Big happy changes. See? Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. Look, say no. No, it's a hell no for certain people. You got to learn how to say no fearlessly so that you can actually get the yes that you want and in some situations you need to compromise and some situations you need to let go and choose a new direction again communicate clearly with your higher self with god with source with the universe so that you can know exactly in which direction you need to go your your life is going to be totally different a year from now based on the decisions that you make now in the near future and it's all about your abundance claim your abundance Forgiving somebody is worth it. The, just go for the peaceful resolution. Some people need to stop seeing forgiveness as being weak. Because I'm telling you, the enemy, as long as you don't forgive anyone, the enemy, that's how they're able to cast, conjure, and, and send demons to you. Because the demons, they like dirty things. They like dark things. Right? And you don't have that. Once you cleanse and clear Purge your own soul. What can a demon, what can an entity actually attach to to attack you? That's what the enemy likes for you to think. That, oh, yeah, you need to get revenge. Um, No, you don't. Because it just keeps you in the cycle. 